Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching TechTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Pinterest pins in Photoshop. So go ahead and launch your Photoshop and let's get started. Before we get started, please make sure you like, share and subscribe to my channel and leave your comment if you have any question about creating Pinterest pins uh, with Photoshop, Canva or whatever tool that you use. So in this video, I'm going to help you create Pinterest pin with Photoshop. So go ahead and launch your Photoshop, go to files and create, hit on new. If you're using latest Photoshop like 2019 or 2020, you should have something like this. So you can simply click on create new. Now here you have to go with this ratio. So the width is going to be two times of any specific um, width size and three times of the same so the ratio is 2 by 3 so whatever the number is go ahead and pick it so let's say I want to go with 500 so I will say 500 into 2 so that's going to be width and 500 into 3 which is going to be 1500 so that's going to be ratio of 2 by 3 and I can simply name it and whenever I name, need it, I can go ahead and get it. So, 500 pixel. Okay, so now I can simply go ahead and hit create. And this could be any number. So, let's say you want to create 600 by 900. It's going to be 2 by 3. So, the number could be anything of your choice. Just make sure it's... 2 by 3. So this is five, uh, pint, Pinterest pin 1000 by 1500 pixel and now you can go ahead and create your pin here. So let's go ahead and quickly do, do this. So what you need to include in a pin is basically the, the title, image, the points that you want to include and your website address and logo okay so go ahead and do that go ahead and create a layer go ahead and import an image or just take a color could be anything my design sense is not very good so that is it I've taken a color, I just pressed Alt and Backspace which took color from here. If you press Control and Backspace, this will take the background color. So go ahead and use the shortcut if you want to use it, otherwise you can use these tools. I've created one more layer. I can go ahead and take a pen tool like this. You can press P on the keyboard and now you can create something like this you can go okay you can create whatever you want something like that anything of your choice okay now I can go ahead and press control and enter this is going to make a selection now I can put any other color of a if I want in here and that's going to be the color of this this is where I can put my title I can go a little bit like that but I do not want to and you just press Control Z to go back if you're not happy get to the pen tool again by pressing P and start from here itself and then go like this this here and then you're pressing Control and enter again 
and I'm going to take the background color which is just white and then to deselect I can go ahead and press ctrl and D and this is going to deselect it alright so you can write something over here go ahead and press the T button which is going to take the text tool here from and here could be your title so I can go ahead and make a title of 50 pixel and you can write your awesome title Oops. Pinterest title pin title a catchy one now you can go ahead and customize it you can increase the font size whatever you want if you're not happy with it go ahead and increase the font size complete completely up to you now let's say if you uh, let's say you're happy with it you can still go ahead and make add some filters to it so go ahead and so let's say I want to add this thing here bevel and emboss if you want to give it a stroke which I don't like perfect Alrighty now I'll go ahead and create one more layer and I'll take this brush tool and let's take some thing from here change the color I'm just pressing the, the square braces to increase the size and decrease the size. Now you can decrease the opacity a little bit and that looks fine. So here we go. Now I can go ahead and import an image over here and let's go ahead and create one more layer and I can put my profile the uh, website address over here so I'm going to take the background color and then deselect it with control D go to text tool and whatever your web address is so uh, site.com shop Now you can just do like this and put your logo over here so I can go ahead and quickly okay take some something from here Oops. shape tool Is it a shame? Oops. Oops. 
So I'm going to take this shape here. Let's see that's our logo. Let's see that's our logo. So now I can go ahead and All right, not bad. All right, now you can put something over here. I'm going to create one more layer and just import an image. So, or open an image. I import, where is this? You can either press Ctrl O or Ctrl I. Let me try Ctrl I. It's not working. So Ctrl O to open anything. So let's say I've got an, an image of this cranberry. Not really good quality so I'm going to cancel it open it so just imported this image I can go ahead and drag it to this art and I'm going to press ctrl and T to increase the size but you see still it's not very clear now it's clear so what I can do Yalla yalla, I can take it. And I can put it here. Just before this. Now you can see it looks awesome. There's one more thing I can give to this is bevel effect, contour, texture. Okay, so let's say I'm happy with it. You can try whatever you want here. So that becomes your basically uh, Pinterest pin. Now you can go ahead and save it, whatever name you want to give it. So let's say I want to save it here, somewhere on my desktop. I've created this card folder. Where is it? I can put this in here it says pin 500 pixel and now whenever I need it I can now I can save this export it as a PNG or JPG whatever you whatever I want I need to export it so export Here we go. I can select JPG, GIF, SVG, whatever I want. These are the best uh, JPG and PNG. Go ahead and say export and this is going to be exported. I'm going to save in this here. So let's say demo pin and this is going to be saved over there now I can go ahead and close my Photoshop or just and I can go ahead and open this card folder cards folder this is where I've got so you can see it here 
you just created a pin now you can go ahead and post it on Pinterest I have one more so whenever you need to create it again basically you just double click on it and change the content and save it with a different name so you'll we'll have this you can change this one do not play anything here you can ch uh, change the image and this thing logo whatever you want title and you are good to go you can change the color so that's kind of prototype you have you can create for multiple sizes and keep this in diff in a particular folder and whenever you want to create that size of pin pin you can just open it and replace all the content in it and save that with a new demo with PNG or JPG extension so that's it for this video save it or export it I would export in my case so that's it for this video if, if you have any questions suggestion leave in the comment below I will try to answer it ASAP thank you again and goodbye